I'm out on a run right now. I'm like a mile to two miles out away from, from the house. Now I gotta, I gotta run back. It's great. It's really cold outside, but great. All right, that was a very cold three and a half miles, but it was, it was a good run. Today, I am helping a church get some drone footage for some Easter videos coming up. Uh, it, it, it should be fun. We're going to a couple different locations to get the, get the droning thing. So, we're doing that today. Hey, we're at an airport in Pennsylvania, but I wanted to stop the video right here. Stick around till the end. I'll give you three tips on flying drones for other people and, and stuff like that. I'm editing the video right now and I realize that there's not a lot of like context here. So I'm gonna kind of narrate doing this to, to make it work. Stick around and I'll tell you those three tips. All right, our flight's boarding. We uh, just got to the, the church and we're taking that that truck to all the locations. So gonna meet people and then get in, in that truck right 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 there. Yeah. We're at our first location. I got the, the drone and stuff. We're gonna try to put the cross on the crosswalk, but we have to block traffic, so there's a little, little uh, technical, what's the word? There's some coordination that's gonna be involved with <laughs> with him. That's that's why we brought him, and actually he, he gave me a ride to Shelbyville, but it should be fine. I'm gonna, gonna shoot it now. So with, with this whole thing, I'm flying the drone, and then Lee is using a gimbal, and the whole idea for the video is to get the cross in different like locations around Tennessee, so that's what we're doing. I don't know if you can see me. We just finished the first location, now we're going to the second, second location. Is there anything around here that's We're at the, the second location now. We're gonna, I'm gonna fly around, fly around that guy. All these places look really similar, but they're all a little bit different. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Jordan's, uh, Jordan's shy when it comes to the camera stuff, but the second I turn the camera off, he, he talks a lot. He's just helping. He's he's literally just carrying this thing for the for the day. More than I'm doing, I'm just I just pretend to work and then throw the drone up and don't really do anything else. But all right, I'm probably gonna get the, the drone out now. Hey, sorry I keep interrupting the, the video. I promise this will be like the second to last time because I still have to give you those those three tips. But I just wanted to give you context for the video if you still haven't haven't caught on or anything like that. Basically the premise of this this video is I got asked to shoot a couple different locations for an Easter video for a church. And this is just a couple of the locations that we did. We did a lot more, but I didn't want to include all of them in there because one, that would be boring, and two, it wouldn't make much sense. But I guess that's why I'm doing this already. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense. And keep watching till the end, and I'll give you those, those three tips. Also, we just got home from Pennsylvania, and it was good. The flight was kind of annoying. The kid, the kid behind me kept kicking my seat. It's good to be home. It's also not nearly as cold here as it is in uh, Pennsylvania, but good to be home and a good trip. Good. Back to the video now. 
We're at the, uh, the third location, which might look familiar because I come here frequently to get drone footage. The trick with this is just to get really consistent shots over and over again. That way when they're piecing it together, they can just like pull from a lot of different footage. But there's a uniformity there. Basically, I'm just getting or orbiting shots of like buildings and stuff like that. That's gonna change, but the cross is gonna stay like consistent throughout most of the footage. I kind of just have to improvise with a lot of this stuff because it's all gonna be different and just do it at will. We're at the, uh, I don't know what location or what number. Third, fourth, fifth, maybe sixth. It's really pretty, so I mean, gonna keep it simple again. Just got home from, from the airport, and as promised, here are the three tips to keep in mind when you're getting drone footage, whether that be for yourself or for somebody else for a project or just anything in general. Tip number one is going to be always know your surroundings when you're flying the drone. I know that's kind of like a self-explanatory thing, but being somebody that's gone through three drones, the other two, well, I guess one and a half, I didn't really fully understand where my surroundings were and because of that, I crashed it. So always know what's around you, like power lines or trees or whatever, and know where they kind of are so that you don't run the risk of crashing it. It saves money. Tip number two is going to be when you're shooting a subject with a drone, keep the subject in frame for the entire shot. Don't have the subject go out of frame and then come back into frame. If they do, then just cut the shot there. It, it, it'll look a lot better and it won't be as confusing to watch. And three, the third and final tip is going to be if you're shooting in multiple locations or over multiple days or something like that, have a common theme within your drone footage to kind of tie it all in. Basically what this does is it prevents the footage from seeming like it's just randomly slapped together and there's a, there's a consistency there. Like for this video, if you're getting shots of a bunch of different locations, have a consistent thing, which would have been the cross and then the moves that I did around the cross. That way it gives a, a cohesiveness to the audience and the, the viewer. So those are my three tips. Hopefully you, uh, you enjoyed this video. Now I'm gonna show you the, the end video with it put together and everything else and they played this on Easter. I didn't make this video, I just shot it. This was made by somebody at the church, but this is the, the, the final product. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Here it is.
Did you did you enjoy the, the video? Hopefully you did. I thought it was cool. That's all I have for you. I'm gonna call the video right here. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit the like button too. That'll help me and the algorithm and, and that whole thing. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.